Dear Mr. Graham, my father got me into crosswords when I was a child. I discovered the garden and Eurocaria. I've been an ardent fan ever since. My dear Eurocaria, I just wanted to send this card to thank you for all the pleasure and challenges you've given me all my adult life. Thank you, thank you. This simply says, Dear Arrow Carrier, all my love, an ardent admirer of your crosswords for many decades. My name is John Galbraith Graham, and I'm a crossword setter. I've been working for The Guardian for about 55 years. Judging by the kind of mail I've been having lately, people feel that they know me from doing my crosswords. It's extraordinary, really. Oxford and we moved when I was five to Wiltshire and lived in the country rectory in Wiltshire for three years. And that I remember fairly well. It was a very isolated country rectory which had no electricity or gas. Lighting was done by oil lamps. I can remember the earliest crosses we did. I know we must have started in the nursery almost. Almost all people want to solve puzzles. I think it's part of human nature. You hope in the end that the solver will be able to solve the puzzle. I have a sort of picture of a solver in mind when I compare, but it isn't a very clear picture. That isn't a fixed picture. It is part of people's lives and they make us whole for it in their day. To some extent, it's possible to tell apart each individual setter. That helps to build up a relationship, probably. A lot of cross-trick compiling goes on in the mind while you're doing other things. That's quite an important part. I don't really have much time so I don't use for crosswords. I walk mostly. Often I'm thinking about clues when I'm walking. A clue that appears to make good sense on the surface, which has got nothing to do with it, is the ideal crossword clue. I first of all try and think of a suitable theme. I find it easier to have a sort of theme, otherwise how do you think of words at all?
I just try to think of a few words that will fit in with this theme, get them in, and gradually build the thing up from there. Since I did this crossword, I've had an awful lot of letters. When I first started doing crosswords, I was given rules of what I was allowed to say and what not to say. One of them was no diseases. Clue is simply a sign of growth. Sign being a sign of zodiac, you see, and growth speaks for itself. I'm always thinking of themes. Cancer seemed a very obvious theme to think of. So I thought I would do a puzzle on the theme of cancer, particularly my cancer. It seemed to me a very good way of letting people know what's going on. People have a picture of me as a person of some sort. Different I owed it to them. People think as if enjoyment and sorrow were two separate things, they're not. You can have them both at once. Crossroads are part of life, so they need to have that element in them. People write as if, as if they were personal friends. I've had quite a lot of that, and it's been very moving, really. The touchy thing is that people feel as they know me and they love me.
that common atmospheric space has already been filled up with emissions by a piddly little population of the rich of the world. That is inequality. If that is not fixed, we don't fix the problem of climate change.